solving numericals so let us solve first numerical and such numericals will be there definitely in the examination okay so you should be able to solve it and um, very simple formula is there only one first order differential linear differential equation you have to solve and that i have already uh, told you in the um, if it is of the form um dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q if this is the form of that particular uh, equation then how you can solve that its solution is given by integrating factor integrating factor is given by e raised to power p into x so that is the integrating factor so integrating factor into y is equal to integration of integrating factor into q into dx plus a constant that is the solution of this differential equation now if you want to find the value of that constant then you have to apply the initial conditions so if you will put initial conditions in that equation you will get values of constant after finding the constant you substitute the value of constant in the equation and that will be the required equation that's all so simple is the procedure okay so let us start with this numerical one a series rl circuit is given with resistance r equal to 30 ohm inductance l equal to 15 henry has a constant what is constant now i'm going to see constant voltage has a constant voltage v is equal to 60 volt applied at time t equal to 0 as shown in figure determine the current i of t the voltage across resistor and the voltage across inductor so these three quantities you want to find but initially very important is if you will find i of t then voltage across resistor you can easily find out v is equal to i into r and voltage across inductor also you can easily find out that is l into di by dt so first very important step is to find the equation of current now what is this this is the circuit now this circuit in this circuit this switch s it was open for a long time that means it was at position 1 that is this at this position for a long time and at time t equal to 0 it is placed at position number 2 that is it is turned on switch is turned on it is placed at position number 2 at time t equal to 0 so if you want to find its equation then what you have to uh, what you should find first draw the equivalent circuit okay so if at time t equal to 0 if you want to draw its equivalent circuit it will be simply short this particular point and this supply voltage will be applied across this rl circuit that's all so this is the equivalent circuit of the network now for this particular equivalent circuit you apply kvl if you want to find equation of i of t apply kvl so what will be kvl this 60 volt equal to voltage drop across this resistor and voltage across this inductor so that is vr plus vl is equal to this 60 so 60 minus vr minus vl equal to 0 or 60 equal to vr plus vl now we know that vr is the current i is flowing in the circuit so i into r will be drop across this vr so vr will be 60 minus i into r that is vr and what is vl value of inductor is l so l into di by dt so 60 equal to i into r plus l into di by dt values of r and l are given to you substitute the values of r and l so you will get this equation r into i that is 30 into i plus l di by dt l is 15 so 15 di by dt 
equal to this voltage source 60. Okay, rearrange the terms that is divided by 15 and write in uh, write it as a differential equation. And in this differential equation, the coefficient of di by dt we usually keep it as one. So that's why you divide it by 15. So it will be di by dt plus 30 i divided by 15, that is 2 i, equal to 60 divided by 15, that is 4. So di by dt plus 2 i equal to 4, this is equation number say 1. Now this is the first order differential equation and its solution, you know, this is of the form dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q. So your p value is 2, q value is 4. So your integrating factor will be e raised to power 2t, right? Because t is your x, x variable is t. So the solution of this differential equation, it is given as e raised to power 2t, that is integrating factor, into x, that is i of t, equal to integration of integrating factor e raised to 2t into q, q is 4 here, so into 4 into dt plus a constant c. Yes, this is the general solution of this general differential equation. You keep in mind this thing, you will be able to solve any problem of this particular chapter. Okay, so now solve this integration. Integration, this 4 is constant, take it out. So e raised to 2t dt. So if you want to find integration of e raised to at, it is e raised to at divided by a. So simply this 4 into e raised to 2t upon 2 plus c and this side is as it is. Now divided by e raised to 2t. That is i of t we want to find. So i of t is equal to e raised to 2t. You divide to this term as well as to this term. So he, this term, this e raised to 2t and e raised to 2t will get cancelled. So it will be 4 by 2, that is simply 2, plus c into uh, c divided by e raised to power 2t. Or 1 upon e raised to power 2t means e raised to power minus 2t. So I have written it as c into e raised to power minus 2t. So this is the second equation. Now you got the equation of i of t, but only term a constant is there c. So we want to find the value of this constant c. So for this purpose, we'll uh, use the initial conditions. Now for this particular circuit, what is the initial condition? Initially, prior to time t equal to 0, this switch was open. So as this switch was open, the current flowing through this inductor was 0 prior to t time t equal to 0. So let us say time t equal to 0 minus is the time before t equal to 0. That is 0 minus. Okay, so at t equal to 0 minus, what is the status of current flowing through this inductor? That is equal to 0. Now, you know that inductor opposes sudden changes in current. Since it opposes sudden changes in current and this switch, you have pressed it at time t equal to 0, this voltage source you have suddenly connected to this inductor and this inductor will oppose this sudden changes in current. That's why it will maintain its current equal to i of 0 plus is equal to i of 0 minus and it is equal to 0. So at time t equal to 0 minus, inductor current is 0 and we know that inductor opposes sudden changes in current Therefore, I of 0 plus, that is at time t equal to 0 plus, the current flowing in that inductor circuit, it is equal to the current flowing through that circuit at time t equal to 0 minus, that is I of 0 plus equal to I of 0 minus and its value is 0. So you substitute this value of 0, I of 0 is 0 in this equation number 2. So substitute here i of 0 means at time t you have to substitute it as 0. So i of 0 is 0 is equal to 2 plus c into e raised to power minus 2 into 0. 
that is 0. e raised to power 0 and anything raised to 0 is 1. So, this is simply c. So, 0 equal to 2 plus c that means c equal to minus 2. So, we got the value of constant. Substitute this value of constant in this equation number 2. So, you will get i of t equal to 2 plus this c is minus 2. So, minus 2 times e raise to minus 2t. You can take this 2 common. So, i of t will become 2 into bracket 1 minus e raise to power minus 2t ampere. And this was the equation which, were which we were interested to find. Find the, determine the current i of t. So, one part we have finished, current equation we have found out. Now, second is voltage across resistor and third is voltage across inductor. Voltage across resistor, we know that it is I into R. So, it is simply I of T into R is the VR. I of T, we have count, um, calculated it, we have found out. It is 2 into bracket 1 minus E raised to minus 2T into R. R value is given as 30. So, it is VR is equal to 60 into this. Okay, volts. So, this is the required value of VR which we have found out. Say it is equation number 4. Now, we want to find voltage across inductor and we know that voltage across inductor VL is equal to L di by dt. So, L into dit by dt. I of t we know and L will also we know 15. So, VL is equal to 15 into V by dt of the I of t equation which we have found out 2 into bracket 1 minus e raised to minus 2. So, make derivative of this. So, it is 15 into 2 I will take constant as outside. So, it is 30 into bracket derivative of this 1 minus e raised to minus 2. Derivative of 1 it is constant. So, there its derivative is 0. So, 0 minus e raised to at. So, if you want to find derivative of e raised to at, it is a into e raised to at. So, minus 2 into e raised to minus 2. Okay, this minus and this minus will become plus. This 2, I will take outside. So, 30 into 2, that is 60 and into e raised to power minus 2t volts. So, this is the value of voltage across inductor. Okay. So, is it clear? So, this first problem we have tackled and similar problems will be there in the examination. Okay. It may be a RL circuit or it may be a RC circuit. The condition may be the switch which is placed at this particular position. Uh, it was there for infinite amount of time and at time t equal to 0, it is pressed. So, that's why this voltage source is connected to this RL circuit at time t equal to 0 or the second case may be this switch was placed at this part <coughs> sorry excuse me so this switch was placed at this particular instant the uh, position for a long time that means this supply voltage it is connected to this RL circuit for infinite amount of time and at time t equal to 0, this switch has opened. So, these are the only two cases. So, that means supply voltage is connected to the circuit at time t equal to 0 or it is opened or removed at time t equal to 0. So, these are the only two possible cases and that both the cases we have seen. One is the source free response and another is the force response. Okay. The procedure for solving the numerical is same. Procedure for solving the derivation is same. Only thing, the initial conditions we differ. And based on the initial conditions, the value of constant will be different and the ultimate equation will be different. Okay? So, I hope you have understood that first problem. Now, second problem also similar. It is, this circuit is given to you. It is a RL circuit again. And this switch was open for a long time. 
and at time t equal to zero, this switch is pressed. That is the supply voltage, this hundred volt source. It is connected to this RC, uh, sorry, RL circuit at time t equal to zero. So it is the same problem. Find out the complete expression for I of t when switch is closed at t equal to zero. So I of t only in this example only I of t expression is asked to. Okay. Now try to remember uh, the previous problem. What we did? We have drawn first the equivalent circuit at time t equal to zero plus. So at time t equal to zero, this switch is at this particular position. That is, switch is pressed or closed. Means this supply voltage is connected to this R V. Okay. So you can draw this equivalent circuit. So draw the equivalent circuit again. So this switch is pressed. That is, this is a short circuit. This hundred volt is connected to uh, R L. That's all. Okay. Now. If you want to find the value of this I of t expression of I of t, then what we did simply apply KVL for this particular loop. So if you will apply KVL to this loop, it is very simple. Hundred equal to this V R plus this V L. What is V R? I into R, and what is V L? L into D I by D T. Right. So. I have applied KVL to this uh, equivalent circuit after time t equal to zero, so it is equal to 100 equal to 10 into I, that is value of resistance R into I plus L into D I by D T. L value is 0.5. I have substituted here L into D I by D T. Now rearrange the equations. That is coefficient of D I by D T. It should be, uh, excuse me. सर, गुड मॉर्निंग मी थोड़ा लेक्चर मध्य पांच मिनट नहीं करोगा हाँ हाँ चले सो वी नीड टू रीअरेज द इक्वेशन एंड इट शुड बी डीवाई बाई डी एक्स प्लस पी वाई इक्वल टू क्यू फॉर्म दैट मीन्स The coefficient of this differentiation term it should be one. Okay, so uh, I'll rearrange this. Uh, I'll divide the whole equation by 0.5. So it will be d i by d t plus 10 i of t divided by 0.5. So 10 by 0.5 it comes out to be 20. So 20 i of t equal to 100 divided by 0.5. So it is coming out as 200. Okay, so mark this as equation number one. Now this is the required uh, first order differential equation of the form dy by dx plus py is equal to q. Value of p is 20 here and value of q is 200. Now the solution for this differential equation, the general format I have told you, it is equal to integrating factor. That is integrating factor is nothing but e raised to power p into x. X is here. T all the time because we are dealing with time variable only. Okay, so uh, it is dI by dt or dV by dt. So with respect to time only, we are going to differentiate. Okay, so our x variable is always t. Your y variable it may be i or v. That is the voltage across that particular uh, component or Current flowing through that particular component. So your I will be no sorry Y will be uh, it may be I of T or V of T. That may be I C of T or V C of T. Means the current flowing through the capacitor or voltage across capacitor or current flowing through inductor or voltage across inductor. That is I L of T or uh, V L of T. Okay, so. Uh, this is p and this is q. So e raised to power p into t directly. So it is e raised to power 20 into t. So this is your integrating factor. Now integrating factor into y. That is i of t. So this e raised to 20 t t, t into i of t equal to integration of this integrating factor e raised to 20 t. 
into Q. Q is here 200 into dt. Right? Plus a constant C. This is the differential uh, solution of that differential equation and all the time it will remain same. Only your values of x, uh, x will not change. It is t only. Your y may change. That may be i of t or v of t. Uh, ILT or ICT. VLT or VCT. Okay. So that may be your value of y. Your p value will be this and q value will be this. So it is this equation. Solution of this uh, linear differential equation is of this form. Now we want to find, uh, first you integrate this particular thing, you solve this 200 constant, take it out and integration of e raised to 20 t dt. So e raised to a t, integration of e raised to a t if you want to find, it is e raised to a t upon a. So solve this, this side, left hand side is as it is, e raised to 20 t into i of t is equal to 200 is constant, I have kept it as it is. Now, e raised to 20 t is integration with respect to t. So it is e raised to 20 t divided by 20 plus a constant c as it is. Okay. Now, uh, you take this e raised to 20 t on this side, that is, you divide uh, both these terms by e raised to 20 t. So this e raised to 20 t will get cancelled and here it will be c divided by e raised to 20 t or you can write c into e raised to minus 20 t. So i of t is equal to 20 divided by, uh, sorry, 200 divided by 20. So it is 10 plus c into e raised to 20 t. Right. So mark this as equation number 2. So in the same fashion we are going. In first numerical also, we got the same equation. It was i of t equal to 2 plus c into e raised to power something into t, uh, minus something into t. Okay. Now, in order to find this value of constant, again you apply initial conditions. Now, this is the RL circuit and before time t equal to 0, for this RL circuit, the source was not at all connected to uh, across RL. So, current flowing through the inductor, it was 0 at time t equal to 0. Means before time t equal to 0, that inductor current was totally 0. And at time t equal to 0, suddenly we have switched, uh, closed the switch. That means suddenly we have applied the voltage across that inductor. Now, I of 0 minus will be 0 because before time t equal to 0 is 0 minus. Okay. At that time, the current was 0. So, I of 0 minus was 0. Now, suddenly we have pressed the switch. That is, we have connected the voltage across that RL circuit. Now, we know that inductor opposes sudden changes in current. So, as it opposes sudden changes in current, I of 0 plus will also be equal to same as that of I of 0 minus and it is equal to 0. So, this is the initial condition I of 0 plus is equal to I of 0 minus is equal to 0. Substitute this initial condition in this particular equation number 2. So, that is time t equal to 0, it will be I of 0 equal to 10 plus c into e raised to 0. Okay. So, at time t equal to 0, I of 0 value is 0. So, 0 equal to 10 plus c into e raised to 0, that is 1. So, c will become equal to minus 10. So, c is equal to minus 10. We got the value of constant. You substitute the value of constant in equation number 2. You will get i of t equal to 10 plus c value is minus 10 e raised to power minus 20 t. So, take out 10 again common. So, it will be 10 into i of t equal to 10 into bracket 1 minus e raised to power minus 20 t amperes. And we were interested to find this equation of i of t. At the most, what you will be, um, what will be asked in the examination, also find the drop across resistor, that is Vr, and also find what is the value of Vl, voltage across inductor. 
so drop across resistance if you want to find now i of t is known to you i is known to you now r value is given to you r value is 10 in this example given as 10 so that expression of i of t into 10 will be voltage across resistance okay so it will be 10 into 10 100 So um, uh, this V R will be hundred into bracket one minus e raised to minus twenty T volts will be V R. Okay. If you want to find V L, that is voltage across this inductor, it will be L into D I by D T. So L is point five Henry. So point five into D I by D T. I expression you have calculated as this. So Make a derivative of this and multiply it by 0.5. So that will be your V. Uh, sorry, VL. VL of T. I hope you understood this. Both these problems of RL circuit. Now, next example we will see for RC circuit. Now, if this is the circuit given to you at time t equal to zero, this switch was uh, closed. prior to that for infinite amount of time it was at position 1 that means this source or the supply voltage was disconnected means it was not applied across this rc circuit and at time t equal to 0 we have closed this switch and this supply voltage was applied across this rc circuit okay so this is the problem given to you that um, as shown in figure values of r and c are given a constant voltage of 20 volt 20 volt is applied to the circuit at time t equal to 0 obtain the current equation determine the voltage across resistor and the capacitor so it is same question i of t we have to find first vr we have to find and then vc we have to find okay same as that of previous one now what is the first case uh, first step first step is you draw the equivalent circuit so at time t equal to 0 plus what will be equivalent circuit we have close this switch switch is at position number 2 so this is a short path this 20 volt is directly connected to this rc circuit so this will be equivalent circuit now for this equivalent circuit we want to find this equation of current so i apply kvl So if you will apply KVL, it is 20 equal to VR plus VC. So VR plus VC equal to V. So this is the equation. You substitute the value of V as 20, R value is 10, and C value is given as 0.1. So VR, it is I into R. So I into R, R value I have substituted as 10. 10 into I of T plus What is the current flowing through or uh, voltage across this uh, VC? It is one by C integration I C D T. So that is the voltage across this capacitor. So one by point one, one divided by point one integration of I C or I of T into D T. That is equal to V twenty. Now here integration term is there. We want it uh, in a differential equation okay we want to represent this in a differential equation first order differential equation because we know how to solve that first order linear differential equation okay that's why we'll differentiate this particular equation with respect to time so differentiating with respect to time we get this 10 as it is this i of t differentiation of i of t with respect to t it will become di of t by dt so 10 di by dt plus this 1 by 0.1 it is 10 into differentiation of integration so that will cancel each other and i of t will remain as it is okay so 10 i of t equal to differentiation of 20 it is constant so it will become zero so again this is the differential equation we got so divide it it's the, the differential term first differential term coefficient of that should be 1 so divided by 10 so it will be di by dt 
So divide it by 10. So it will be 1 i of t equal to 0. So this is the linear differential equation, first order linear differential equation, whose values you can see here, value of p is 1 here and value of q is 0. So as q is 0, it is the source free response, right? So from this, the integrating factor we know, it is e raised to power t. So its solution will be e raised to power t into i of t equal to integration of integrating factor into q, q is 0. So that integration term will vanish. Only a constant c will remain. Okay. So e raised to t into i of t equal to c. That means i of t is equal to c into e raised to power minus t. So let us say this is equation number 2. If you want to find the value of constant c, then apply initial conditions. So what are the initial conditions? At time t equal to 0, switch is closed. That means prior to that, for infinite amount of time, that switch was open. So as the switch was open, the current uh, voltage across that particular uh, capacitor, it was 0. And what was the current flowing through that circuit? If you want to find current flowing through that circuit, this as suddenly you have closed uh, close this particular switch, this capacitor will act as if it is a short circuit. So this capacitor will act as short circuit. So the equivalent circuit will be only this 20, this 10 ohm resistance. So this voltage source and resistance is there in the network. So current in this circuit will be this voltage source divided by this resistance will be the value of current at time t equal to zero. So at time t equal to 0, value of current, it is equal to V by R, it is equal to 20 by 10 is equal to 2 ampere. Now value of I of 0, that is initial condition you know, I of 0 is 2 ampere. You substitute the value of in this equation number 2. So I of 0 is 2. So 2 is equal to C into E raised to 0, that is 1. So C is equal to 2. Substitute the value of C here, you will get I of t is equal to 2e raised to minus t ampere. This is the equation of current which we are interested to find. So first answer you have got I of t answer at it is equal to uh, 2e raised to minus t. Now if you want to find voltage across resistor Vr, it is I into R. So I is this 2 into e raised to minus t and value of R it is 10. So it is 20 e raised to minus t is Vr. Now if you want to find voltage across capacitor Vc, we know that Vc is equal to integration of 1 over c integral i t dt. So 1 over c value substitute value of c as 0.1. i of t you have calculated it as 2 into e raised to minus t. So Vc, is, Vc of t is equal to 1 over 0.1 integration 2 into e raised to minus t dt. So take out two common integration of e raised to minus t. It is e raised to minus t divided by minus 1. Solve this, you will get Vc of t is equal to this. And a constant c is there for this integration. If you want to find this value of constant c, again you have to apply initial condition at time t equal to 0. We know that before time t equal to 0, the charge on capacitor or voltage on capacitor was 0. So at time t equal to 0 plus also, Vc of 0 plus will be same as that of Vc at 0 minus and it is equal to 0. You substitute it in this equation. So you will get the value of constant as 20. Substitute the constant value here. You will get this equation. Alternatively, you can find Vc of t is equal to we have calculated it in derivation as V into 1 minus E raised to minus 1 over RCT, right? This was the derivation which we have done in uh, that previous lecture, okay? So you substitute value of V as 20 here. RC is the time constant. That is value of R you substitute. C you substitute. So it will be 
Vc of t equal to 20 into bracket 1 minus e raised to minus t divided by value of r and t. So it is 10 into 0.1. It will become 1. So it is Vc t is equal to 20 into bracket 1 minus e raised to minus t. So you can find your answer by this way also or this way also. By both the methods, you will get the same answer. I hope uh, we stop here today because. time is going out so i will stop uh, recording first and then we'll discuss if time permits